Again? Am I dreaming again? It's that Pokemon again. Huh? They're talking to me? I can't hear them clearly. What are they saying? Huh? It's shaking. An earthquake? Whoa! It's getting worse. For a dream, this feels strangely real, but... Excuse me? Oh, oh, you, you can't, can't see, see us, of course. How very rude of us. Whoa! We're pleased to meet you. We are the trio. Last night, during the earthquake, our child Diglett was attacked. He was whisked away to the peak of a tall mountain. We couldn't possibly climb so far so high up. That is why we must call upon you for your help, Cynical. Diglett was abducted by a Pokemon named Scarry. It's a vilely vicious ruffian. Please do be careful. Please, we need your help. We must go. Um. That was so sudden, there was no time to even say no. It's too bad. I better go. Wait, how is my floor still intact? Good morning, Cinequil. Huh? You were asked to go on a rescue mission? Yes! Our child Diglett was kidnapped. He was taken to Mount Steel Summit. Please, we need your help. Bye! Uh, okay. Let's go. Here we are, Mount Steel. So Diglett was whisked to its peak. That's right! The peak is nine floors! Thank you for helping! Farewell! Uh, let's go. I really wish I knew what all these weird dreams have been about. If only that quake didn't happen earlier. I may have had a chance to figure it all out. I guess I'll always have another chance the next time I go to sleep. Then again, maybe I've been dreaming this whole time. That would honestly be one of the more tame explanations as to why I've turned into a Pokemon and got transported to an alternate reality. But could you dream inside of a dream? Can you sleep while you're already sleeping? Perhaps not. I think I would have woken up by now if this was a dream. But anyway... Right now, Mudkip and I are making our way through Mount Steel, a dungeon filled with defensive Pokemon. Rock and Steel types to be exact. They aren't exactly easy to take out, especially since we only have Tackle at our disposal. If we could get a little bit stronger, we might be able to learn some new moves. Mudkip is a water type, so having Water Gun would be incredibly helpful against these rock types. And while my fire typing wouldn't be too useful against a rock type, it would certainly help against Steel-type Pokémon. I mean, in a place called Mount Steel, it's almost guaranteed that you're gonna have to deal with a lot of Steel-types. Let's see if I can manage to learn a Fire-type attack before we make it to the end of this dungeon. It would also be nice to have more moves in general, simply so we don't run out of PP as quickly. Mudkip and I do have some defensive moves like Growl and Smokescreen, but that can only carry you so far. But maybe we can attack through different means besides just our moves. The Blast Seed is a type of food with a spicy after effect. It can be used as a close ranged attack after consuming it. Another thing I've noticed is that Mount Steel is littered with these loose pebbles called Graveler Rocks. Mudkip said that they could be used as a long ranged attacking item. Those would probably be our saving grace in longer dungeons where we need to be extra careful on our PP usage. But there's something weird about these Graveler Rocks. No matter how many we pick up, 
they never seem to take up space in our toolbox. Like, if our toolbox is already full, and there's an orange berry already in there, we can't pick up any more orange berries. But if the toolbox is full and we already have a graveler rock in there, we could pick up as many more graveler rocks as we'd like. I asked Mudkip how this was even possible, and he said it was due to some sort of cosmic power that was beyond our comprehension. Now they're the ones sounding crazy. Maybe a human turning into a Pokemon isn't so far-fetched after all. Given the things that I've seen in this world, there probably isn't anything that's out of the realm of possibilities. Oh well, if that's true, then I'm sure I'll be able to find the answers I'm looking for, if I just keep searching. But for now, we've got a job to finish. It's time to rescue Diglett. Look, Santa Quill, Diglett's over there! Hey, are you alright? We've come to rescue you. I... I'm scared. You! What do you think you're doing here? We're here to rescue Diglett. Skarmory, don't do this. Release Diglett. How dare you! It's their fault! I haven't slept in days because of these earthquakes frightening me so. Every night we've had them! Those earthquakes are the cause of the brat's ilk running wild underground! That's not true. Well, it's true there have been many earthquakes lately, but it would take more than Diglett's family going wild under the ground to cause earthquakes. You be quiet! We'll fight if you keep this up! It's no good. Skarmory is too agitated to listen to reason. We'll have to fight it out. Why does just seeing this Skarmory's face make me agitated? Whatever. It's time to save Diglett. This may be a tough battle, but we're gonna stick it out until the very end, no matter what. Or that could happen, I guess. Uh, I can't keep up! I'll flee for now! Hey there, we chased Skarmory off. It's okay now. Come down over here. I can't. I'm too scared to move. Okay, no problem. We'll come to you. Just wait. Whoa. Sheesh, look at this cliff. I can't see the bottom. Sidiqua, what will we do? We can't get across this. <laughs> oh, hi. You're the Magnemite we saved. We got more of this. We can't rescue Diglett from the sky. Don't be scared. We won't take the snake attack if you. Oh, I was very scared. Maybe because I was somewhere up so high. My feet feel like they're still walking on air. Uh, feet? Feet. Well, you're safe now. That's what counts. Yes, thank you very much. Oh, you've been rescued! Great, great! Huh? What was that? Am I hearing voices? What? Oh, you can't see us. That's terribly rude of us. Hello! The trio here! But I'm alright. It was all thanks to Cyndaquil's team. Thank you for everything, your heroes! You should be thanking our Magnemite friends. This rescue was impossible for us to do on our own. Oh, how rude us! Thank you so much! No, no. It was the only thing to do. And how old are you all forms our trios? I failed the certification. After all, Pokemon must help each other. I'm impressed. Sincerely, thank you. We must be going, Cyndaquil. Mudkip. Thank you. Farewell! Well...
Oh, oh wait, don't go away. What is it? Uh, would you like to join our team? Join your team? Yes. We couldn't have done the last job if you weren't around, Magnemite. I thought we would need more help for doing rescues in the future. Cinequil, don't you think so too? So how about it? Will you join us as members of our rescue team? Rescue team? That sounds fun. <laughs> but if you just rush over to rescues, we need somewhere to live close by. Is there anywhere we can live in this area? Um, well... Oh, there isn't. Too bad. Sorry, but we can't join you. See you. <laughs> That is too bad. It looks like we need to find places for Pokemon to live if we want some to join our rescue team. I know. Let's go to the Pokemon Square tomorrow. There's an interesting place called the Wigglytuff Club. It wasn't open the other day when we went to the square. It should be open tomorrow, though. It's next door to the Felicity Bank. Wigglytuff is usually there every day. We might be able to get some information. Okay. That's what we'll do tomorrow. We'll go to Pokemon Square. You know, we could all just stay at my house. It's not exactly cramped in there. <laughs>